Every spring, the New Mexico Department of Game Fish collects walleye eggs in our attempt to make sure the fish populations are stable and to provide walleye for anglers to catch. Here we have a gravid female, which means the eggs are ready to go. So we take this fish back to our spawning processing site. Here we have a green female, which means the eggs aren't ready. She goes back in the water. In addition to catching walleye, we catch a whole variety of other species we call these bycatch. Some of these include uh, river carp suckers, and channel catfish. And after we catch those guys, since we don't need those guys, we usually let them go. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and harvest the eggs, spawn the fish. And the method we use is called the dry spawn method. Um, the, the wall eggs, as soon as the water starts hit, hitting them, after a couple minutes, the, the ovophile, the spots where the sperm can access the eggs, start closing, and it's a protective mechanism to protect the eggs, start building a shell around the egg. Um, so we try to keep all the water out of, out of the eggs, and then the sperm isn't activated until it hits water, and it's only active for about 15 to 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is squeeze the eggs from the female into the pan. She's ready. I think she's ready. A little blood, but sorry. We'll get two or three females, um, collect eggs from two or three females into the pan, and then we'll add milk or sperm from the males, and we'll mix it in real good. And once that's mixed real well, then we'll add water to activate the sperm. Um, and then after about 30 to 45 seconds, when we know that the sperm had enough chance to, to attach to the egg, we will um, actually add a clay mixture called bentonite. The walleye eggs are really sticky. They're made when they naturally spawn. They spawn in the gravel and the eggs stick to, they adhere to the rocks and the gravel. So what we want to do is we, we don't want the eggs sticking together because they'll clump up and the ones in the center won't get oxygen and they'll die. And then they'll, they'll, they'll fungus and kill the whole lot of eggs. So we add this bentonite mixture and it's basically like uh, taking the stick, stickiness off a band-aid. It takes the stickiness, the adhesion off the egg, and then once we've put them in here for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes, mix them in the, stir them into the bit night, we'll wash those eggs and we'll have nice, clean, separated eggs. That's all right, don't worry about it. They'll rinse it out later. There you go.